Hi, and welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant, and I'm going to be speaking to you about this 2016 Mercedes-Benz C200. It's the current shape, and it's done just 6,000 kilometres since it was new. There's a significant saving on new, and there were a lot of options available. This particular car has, I think it's called a comfort pack, where you've got memory electric seats, drives and passenger side, and heated seats. It's got electric fold-in mirrors, push-button start, keyless entry, and actually it's got a sunroof. A lot of them came with the larger panoramic roof and surprisingly I've had a lot of cost, uh, customers say that they prefer to just have a, a more solid roof with the smaller sunroof than have all glass at the top, I'm not sure why, uh, but this one does just have your standard sunroof. It's silver with black interior. And it really is incredible value for money. You've got your navigation, Bluetooth, Bluetooth streaming, which is great. You've got the owner's manual in the system, your general vehicle settings, dynamic select, so if you press that, it's all in comfort at the moment, which is sensible, but you can stiffen, it, stiffen up the steering and all that sort of thing. Obviously, the parking sensors, as well as the camera, the car even parks itself. It's just had its first service. So when you buy this car, it's not gonna need a service for 12 months. Obviously the tires and, and everything are in excellent condition. It still has a balance of new car warranty. But really is very impressive. It's a one owner, obviously, it was purchased on the lower north shore. And would absolutely suit a new car buyer. I think that there's some specials around where you can get new C200s in the 60s, but when you actually work out options and things like that, it does go into the early 70s. And the good thing about buying this car at this price is it's, it's had a bit of a drop already. So for the next few years, you're not going to uh, lose as much money as you would if you bought a new one. The other good thing is it's done such low kilometres. If it had done 40 or 60,000 kilometres, then obviously that would have a detrimental effect on the resale because in two or three years it'll have over 100,000 kilometres. The good thing about this car having just 6,000 kilometres, if you did say... 20,000 kilometers a year in three years it's only going to have 66,000 kilometers which will still be regarded as low but it's a very impressive car it's in great condition I don't think it's going to last very long with such low kilometers at this price and for a C200 it has a significant amount of power I believe this particular one also has the seven speed gearbox, which was the last of the seven speed. At the end of 2016, it was replaced with a nine speed. I don't know how reliable the nine speed is. It's probably too new to tell, but in my experience, you're always best to buy the last, the last of a, a gearbox or an engine than the very first. But it drives absolutely beautifully. It would suit a very fussy or new car buyer. And we're conveniently located in Marrickville. You can hear a plane flying over right now. We're only about 15 to 20 minutes from the airport and about 15, 20 minutes from Sydney CBD. We do have finance available if you want to talk to someone about finance on this vehicle. Um, it does have two keys. I know it sounds silly after 6,000 Ks, but uh, yeah, people have a habit of losing their spare key, unfortunately. This is not one of those cars. And lastly, it's, uh, it's got LED lights. 
So normally to tell if it's got xenon lights, you'd normally have a little square here which would come out and spray the headlights. With the LED um, headlights on these newer Mercedes, it doesn't require that. Not sure why. I don't know if it's it's because they're LEDs, because of the heat. I'm not. I don't actually know, but uh, I thought that was quite interesting. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and we certainly do look forward to hearing from you shortly.